In this video, we will guide you through the initial setup steps for connecting your Hikvision 4G PT network camera to the internet via a LAN connection, as an alternative to using a 4G SIM. We will demonstrate how to connect the camera to a router or modem and configure it for access from a PC or laptop. Additionally, we will show you how to enable the HikConnect feature to add the camera to your HikConnect mobile app. This is the first part of our video series designed to help you get started. First step, power off your camera to install the memory card, if needed. Before beginning any installation or configuration process, it's crucial to power off the camera fully. This precaution protects the internal components of the camera and the microSD card from potential damage caused by static electricity or accidental electrical surges. To power off, disconnect the power supply or unplug the power adapter. The microSD card slot is conveniently located on top of the camera, often under a protective cover. When installing the card, ensure the camera is off to prevent corruption of data or hardware issues. For this demonstration, we have already inserted the card, but if you'd like to see the process step by step, please refer to our other video in this series that details memory card and SIM card installation. Since in this setup we are using LAN connectivity, inserting a SIM card is unnecessary, so you can ignore the SIM slot during this process. When inserting the microSD card, make sure it is aligned correctly and inserted gently into the slot. After placing it, double-check that the card is seated firmly and flush with the slot. Proper seating is essential because a loosely connected card can cause recording errors, data loss, or camera malfunctions later on. Power up the camera. Once the memory card is securely installed, reconnect the power using the provided DC power adapter. Plug it into a stable power source to turn the camera back on. Next, connect the network using a CAT6 LAN cable from the camera's Ethernet port to your internet modem or router. This wired connection ensures a stable network link, which is especially important for surveillance cameras. When powered on, the camera will initiate its startup sequence. You'll observe the PT, pan tilt, lens rotating initially, a sign that the camera is powering up. The red indicator light will be illuminated during this time, indicating the boot process. After a few moments, once the camera finishes booting, the red light will switch to a flashing blue light, this signals that the camera is ready for configuration. During this process, you will hear a voice announcement confirming network connectivity. Race setting succeeded. If you need to reset or reboot the camera at any point, press and hold the reset button for up to 5 seconds. Once you release the button, the camera will restart. When you hear the voice prompt again and see the blue LED light, it indicates that the camera has successfully rebooted and is ready for initial setup through LAN. Press and hold reset button until the device is activated. Once you hear the voice prompt or see the flashing blue LED on the camera, you can begin the configuration process from your PC or laptop, ensuring that both your device and the camera are connected to the same router or modem. This common network connection is essential for establishing communication between the camera and your PC, allowing you to access and set up the camera settings through the appropriate software or web interface. Initialize and activate the camera using SADP software. The most efficient method to find your camera's IP address and activate your Hikvision device is by using the SADP tool. We have already installed the software for this demonstration, however, if you need to download and install it yourself, you can find the link in the video description below. This software allows you to quickly detect your camera on the network and easily configure its network settings, ensuring smooth access and management. The SADP, Search Active Device Protocol, software is a powerful tool that scans your network and automatically detects all Hikvision devices connected to the same LAN. Once the scan is complete, it displays a list of these devices, showing key details such as their current IP address, device type, and status. This makes it easy to identify the specific camera you wish to set up or activate, especially when managing multiple Hikvision devices on the same network. To activate and secure your camera, simply select the device from the list within the SADP tool. You will be prompted to enter a new password. For security reasons, you need to input the new password twice, once for confirmation. 
This step not only activates the camera but also ensures that your device is protected from unauthorized access, safeguarding your footage and network security. Additionally, during the activation process, you have the option to answer a security question and register your email address. This information can be valuable for future password reset or recovery, helping you regain access if you ever forget your login credentials. This is an important step to enable the DHCP option. Select the Hikvision camera, then on the right side of the SADP software, make sure DHCP is checked. Next, enter the camera password you previously set. Once DHCP is enabled and the password is confirmed, the camera's IP address will be assigned automatically according to your network's IP range or router settings. Only then can your PC or laptop easily access the camera via a web browser or camera management software. Now, the camera can be accessed via a web browser or client software. To view the camera feed and perform basic configurations such as date and time, hit Connect App Setup, and Recording Settings, simply open a web browser and enter the camera's IP address shown by the SADP software. Once entered, the camera's web interface will prompt you to log in with the admin username and password. The default username is admin and the password is the one you previously set in SADP. Entering these credentials will give you access to the camera's setup page. You can view the live feed in the live view section, however, to do so, you need to install the necessary plugin. For detailed instructions on how to install the plugin, please refer to the related video available on our channel. This ensures your browser can properly display the live camera footage, providing a seamless viewing experience. The important setup is to set the date and time on the camera, which can be done manually or automatically by selecting Sync with Computer Time under the System System Settings Time Settings menu. This ensures that the camera's timestamp is accurate for recording and event logging. To enable remote access through the mobile app, start by navigating to the Configuration menu on your camera's interface. From there, go to Network Platform Access and select Hit Connect. This is the control panel where you can manage the camera's connection to HitConnect's cloud service. Once you are in the right section, toggle the Enable option for HitConnect to activate the feature. After enabling it, you will need to create and enter a verification code, which you can set yourself. This code acts as an extra layer of security and will be used later when sharing live camera feeds with others or giving remote access. Once you've entered the verification code and saved your settings, the camera will attempt to connect to HitConnect's cloud platform. If everything is configured correctly, the camera's status will change to online, confirming that it is now accessible remotely. This setup allows you to view live footage, receive alerts, and manage your camera easily from your HitConnect mobile app, providing flexible and secure remote monitoring options. You can add and view this camera in the HitConnect app by entering the camera's serial number or scanning the QR code located on the camera label. For detailed instructions on how to do this, please refer to our comprehensive video series, which covers these steps in multiple parts. If you found this video helpful, we sincerely appreciate your support. Your likes, shares, and subscriptions enable us to produce more valuable content and continue providing helpful tutorials to our viewers. Every bit of support makes a significant difference. Thank you for being a part of our community.